Hi everyone. In this lesson, I want to look at how we solve uh, formulas that have quadratic expressions in them for a particular variable. <clears throat> for example, this is Newton's universal law of gravity. It says that the force is equal to some constant g times uh, mass 1, mass 2, multiplied together in the numerator, times uh, the square of the radius. <clears throat> And if I'd like to solve this for r, that means I want to get r all by himself on one side. So what I need to do, <clears throat> first of all, is go ahead and multiply both sides by r squared to get rid of this fraction. And that's going to give me, <clears throat> if I multiply this side by r squared and this side by r squared, over on the right the r squareds will cancel. And I'll get <clears throat> that uh, capital F times r squared is equal to big G times m1 times m2. Now in this case I don't have I don't have an r term just an r squared so I go ahead and divide both sides by f and that would give me that r squared <clears throat> is big G m1 m2 over big F and then I just extract the square roots. I want to get r by himself so r would equal technically, mathematically, plus or minus the square root of big G <clears throat> times M1 times M2 all over F. Now in this case R in Newton's law of gravity is a distance and that's not going to be negative so if you forgot the negative that wouldn't matter in this case but but uh, sometimes you do need that negative. Alright so in this case my R would just be the square root of big G M1 M2 over F. <clears throat> we might leave it like that. You could rationalize the denominator, get rid of the fraction in there, but we'll just stop there. Let's move on to the next uh, example here. Um, <clears throat> here I have a formula for the sur surface area of a cone and it asks me to solve for R. Now most students when they do this problem they make the mistake of trying to solve it like it's a linear equation. They try and shuffle r on one side, maybe factor an r out of here, and, and they just get hopelessly stymied and not sure how exactly to do it. And the key to understanding this problem is all in the recognition that this is a quadratic equation. When it says to solve for r and you have an r squared in there, that means it's quadratic. Now how do we solve quadratic equations? Well, you remember you can factor them if it's factorable. Um, if there's no middle term, like there was in this first one up here, you can, you can extract the square roots, or you can complete the square, or you can use the quadratic formula, which was derived from completing the square on a generic formula. So the key here is to recognize <clears throat> that this is a quadratic formula and, and make it look like a quadratic equation in standard form. So I'm going to rewrite it this way. I'm going to take the big A over on the right hand side. I'm going to write this as 0 equals. I'm going to be very explicit. This is pi times r squared plus pi s times r plus a negative a. <clears throat> so as you can see that this is quadratic in r and my a value will be pi and my b value will be pi times s and my c value will be negative a and then all I have to do is plug that into the quadratic formula so that my <clears throat> r is going to be a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared so I'll have to square the pi s minus 4 a is pi c is negative a and then divide all that by 2a and the a value is pi. <clears throat> so my r value is going to be a negative pi s plus or minus the square root of pi squared s squared and then the two minuses here will make a plus 4 pi a all over 2 pi. And notice that I got r all by himself on one side and those are my, my solutions. <clears throat>
okay now it may work out <clears throat> notice there are two solutions here maybe the negative one isn't going to make any sense in this case r is a radius and i don't think that one would work so it's probably you're going to probably eliminate that but we'll just leave our answer like that to remind ourselves that it really is a quadratic equation and, and i got the answer by plugging it into the quadratic formula let's do one more here's a formula from electricity says that W is the square root of 1 over LC. I'd like to solve this for L. I'd like to get the L all by himself. So I basically just have to unwrap this equation. I have to somehow get rid of the square root, first of all. So let's just square both sides. So if I square both sides, that will give me W squared is equal to 1 over LC. Well, now I have a an equation with fractions, so let's multiply to get rid of the fractions. So we'll multiply both sides by... LC. So on this side they're going to cancel. I'll just be left with 1. Over on this side I'll get L times C times W squared is equal to the 1. Uh, again I'm trying to get the L all by himself so all I have to do is just divide both sides by the CW squared. Alright. I wanted that to be a different color. There we go. So if I divide both sides by CW squared then I'll get my answer <clears throat> that my L, it'll be all left by himself on this side, right, because these will cancel. That's going to be 1 over CW squared.